tonight, Quakertown, Pennsylvania. First of all, you, Nico Gray, <laughs> you will have the distinction of facing one of the most dangerous men in professional wrestling today. Original family member, the man they call Slayer. Slayer will rip you apart, Nico Gray. You know, I can see you writing in that book right now. I am scared to death of Slayer. That's what you should be writing in that book right now, because you are. And Slayer will prove, prove it when he systematically takes you apart tonight. Now, huh, you, Cody Rose, will be meeting my other man, the ruiner of it all, the 3WA Hardcore Champion, JT Cage, in a non-title event. A non-title event. The reason the title isn't on the line because the powers to be deemed it that JT was so, so violent last time they, in their way, in their way of doing things, they want to tone him down a little bit. Well, we'll see how that, we'll see how that rides. Now, Cody Rose, you, my friend, well, all I got to say to you is good luck. Because the ruiner, the ruiner of it all will come out victorious like he always does. Tell him, JT. You see, there's not much to tell. You know, um, it, this video that I'm watching is everything Cody Rose has done wrong to me. Between my second match in 3WA where he kicked me in the balls... And, and BB. Then there's a time we all tagged together and he dropped from the apron and I went for the tag and he left me to get beat down by the assassins of an elite circus and pinned by their manager's fake yard buckle. One of the most embarrassing things in my career. And then in a time where I should have been in that match anyway in a fatal four-way match at the Extreme Rumble Snuck up from behind and got the victory again. So I've never beaten Cody Rose. So I've been waiting a long time, a long time for this. And it is a shame, Hat. It is a shame that it's not a hardcore match and it's not for my 3WA hardcore title. But I think they know if, they, if I could do whatever I want to Cody, they know it would be the end of his career. He's a cunning guy. He's, he's smart. Broke up. Well, not really. I started it, but he kind of finished it off and broke up the Brickhouse Club. I could have been told Bricks out was going to happen because I know the kind of person Cody is. And that's the thing. That's the thing that's really, really, really going to be bad for Cody because I do know exactly how he is. But the thing is, he doesn't know a damn thing about this version of me. The ruler of it all, JT Cage, he has never met before. He's about to know every bit of that name. I'm just stating facts right now. And, you know, the way he flaunts, you know, he, that he has all this money. Oh, I got money here. I got, you know, I'm so rich. All of a sudden, he's got this newfound wealth. Well, you know what? I got a few bucks stashed away myself. I got a home out in Palm Springs, California. I got a winter residence on the big island of Hawaii. Do I talk about it? No, not to these peons. But you can flaunt all you want. You can do what you want. The ruiner of it all will tear you apart in that ring. I guarantee it. You know what? All the money in the world, all the money in the world can't save you from this ass whooping you're about to get bestowed upon you. Believe that. <laughs> and and, and uh, speaking of the Brickhouse Club, I, I hear through the grapevine that James Brickhouse uh, is going to try to get a front row seat to see this match, well, for whatever reason, he's going to be sitting next to Dino Santa, probably kissing up like he usually does. Uh, for whatever reason, he's going to be out watching this match. I don't know. He says he wants any, to be out whatever there. Reason that, he wants to be out there to see me do what I do best and ruin it all for Cody. But I ain't doing it for Brickhouse. So Brickhouse, if you think that we got some kind of connection or something, you're damn wrong. Never, never yeah. did. Never will. 
But I will tell you this, Cody will be ruined properly. So, I mean, sit back, get your popcorn. You can tell Daddy Dino, I said, what's up? 